What's going on fellow campers? I'm excited and I'm excited to share with you. Behind me is the demo unit that I picked for the year. I picked this way earlier in the year. I actually picked it at our open house. This is the Flagstaff 826 MBR. I've got my good buddy Ryan here. Hello everyone. <clears throat> Ryan's going to be my technical guy. As we're going through this unit, I'm going to kind of point out, and I might interrupt you, okay? Oh, no but worries. I'm going to point out some of the things that made this stand out and be perfect for my wife and I. But I want Ryan to really go over all of the great features that Flagstaff has to offer and what makes it so great. So, Ryan, I'm going to let you first take over and we can talk about some of the outside stuff. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Well, before I get into all the technical stuff, I just want to say, Dan, you, you picked an awesome coach. In my opinion, this is actually kind of the ultimate couples coach. If you're wanting to uh, get away, it doesn't have all the extra sleeping. You're not going to bring a bunch of people with you. But for the for the couples that are out there and they want the space just for themselves, you couldn't have picked a better coach. So I'll start here and show you some of the features on the outside. First off, I want you to notice these white laminated fiberglass walls. You couple that with these tinted black frameless windows just to me it's aesthetically pleasing it looks really good it's a nice clean finish i've got this open here so you can see your pass through storage here it doesn't go all the way through on this floor plan it just kind of depends on what floor plan you're looking at but you have some storage in here i love that they have the magnets here so this door isn't flopping in the wind all the time it, it sits right where it needs to be and this is slam latch so I slam it like that, it shuts. You come right up here, you got your battery hookup, you got your power tongue jack, of course, of course you got your LP bottles. Uh, but I do like on the battery here, it's kind of hard to see with camera, but you do have an exterior battery disconnect. You have your rock guard here, so when you're going down the road, rocks are flying up, whatever, it's protecting your investment. And then of course you have your high gloss front cap here with your automotive front windshield that's just a awesome look i mean i really like it you know what i am gonna i'm gonna jump in real quick one Absolutely. of the things i just noticed on this because literally i just hooked it up and we come over and do the video this new lippert smart jack is mm -hmm. is sharp so i've come from a fifth wheel for the last several years and a lot of your fifth wheels will have an auto memory yep basically where it remembers where it was at when you pulled your vehicle out and it'll go back to that this has it now. Yeah, That's absolutely. freaking fancy. Yeah, so where, where you unhook, it's actually going to go back to that and remember. Right. So that just just makes everything with your setup and, you know, when you're uh, leaving the campground or wherever you're leaving, just makes everything that much easier. Love it. Love it. Now go ahead. Let's try no, no worries. You. I wanted to point out this massive on it here. Of course, this is a touch of a button. Bring this in and out. You can adjust the pitch here, so if you need to... You know, you got a rainy day, whatever, you want to run the rain off, you can absolutely do that on either side. Come over here to these steps. Now, there's one thing I don't particularly like about these steps is that they're super heavy. Dan, if you could help me lift these up. Let's do it together, buddy. Uh, just kidding. They're strut assisted. So, uh, not only are they easy to lift, I mean, you can do it with one finger. I mean, it's, it's wanting to go back up. That's how lightweight these are. So, anybody can do that little joke we have here in the, and in I the love, camping industry. <laughs> while you're talking about those, I love, when I first opened the door, I went to try to find the lock mechanism to pull it down, and you're like, Dan, just pull on it. And it was just one-handed, pull it down, done. Yep, absolutely. So another thing about this, talking about weight, this coach is under 7,500 pounds. So, you know, you've got plenty of room. Your half-ton trucks can tow it, your three-quarter ton trucks, so whatever you need. Uh, there are some SUVs that can tow this as well. I did want to point out your all-weather marine grade outside speakers so you can zone your music whatever you're listening to if you want to play it inside you want to play it outside dan if you're out here partying and uh -huh. whoever's in there sleeping you can turn the speakers off inside and listen to it out here and not bother anybody inside awesome. the coach or vice versa if it's time to go to bed at the campground you want to keep listening to your music turn these off and listen to it inside of course, you got a little mini fridge here. Another thing that this comes with too is uh, Flagstaff's going to provide a grill. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but you have the LP Quick Connect that feeds right off of your LP bottles. So it just makes it easy, makes it easy to cook out here, uh, right here under this beautiful awning. But hey, let's go take a look at the inside of this coach. 
All right, everyone, so we're standing on the inside. And while all those features on the outside are fantastic, it's all the stuff in here that made me want this unit, oh, yeah. really. It's hard not to love. Like like I said, I've come from a fifth wheel the last two years, Cougar fifth wheel, absolutely love them. They're luxurious, they're spacious, everything else. But usually it's just my wife and I, Sarah, that travel. Mm -hmm. And when I saw this at the open house, I was like, man, this is, well, for lack of a better word, adorable. Like. It's a perfect couples coach, and I know my wife well enough to know what kind of thing she's looking for in the unit. I'm like, honey, we have to get this unit. Um, I also really liked, though you can get the big fifth wheels in the state parks and stuff, I just made it easier on my life to get in and out of the state parks and stuff, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna let Ryan take it over, but basically everything you see inside of here is why I love this unit. From the light colors, the flooring, the massive kitchen, the bedroom is awesome. King bed in the bedroom in a travel trailer. Absolutely. Not super common, getting more common, but king bed, awesome bathroom. Ryan, take it over, man. I'll shut up. Well, just want to talk about the interior a little bit. Dan, I can certainly see why you would be interested in this coach. You know, one of my favorite things, as soon as you walk in, you have the two big seats here. Those, you know, you look at them as typically you have bar stools. These are actual chairs. They look right over your countertop, so you, this could kind of be like a little breakfast nook. And it looks right out your front windshield, so you can actually see your campsite, you can see whatever's out there, whatever view that, that you have is available to you sitting at this little thing. Uh, as Dan said, it, it's adorable. I agree with that 100%. Uh, but to talk about some of the features uh, of this, of course, you have your solid surface countertops, so nice residential countertops. I mean, these things are solid. You have your high output three burner stove here. So your high output is going to be on the front. Your lower output is going to be on the back. So if you want to boil water quickly, that kind of stuff, I'd use your front burner here. You have a 21 inch oven. Depending on what brand of camper you're looking at, you typically see a 21 or a 17 inch oven. So this one is a little larger than a lot of them out there. Uh, so you can fit some more stuff in there. You know, I don't know how much cooking you're going to do, but of course, uh, I already talked on the windshield. I love that. You have your nice stainless steel undermount sink. Makes it really easy to wipe spills and stuff into here. It goes right in there. It's the big farm style sink so you can fit your bigger pots and pans. You have a residential faucet here with your sprayer integrated right into the faucet. Makes it super easy. Then, of course, you wrap right around into your, you know, once you're uh, past your kitchen area, you have your 11 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Now, something I haven't touched on, I actually kind of forgot. This refrigerator is on, and if you notice, all the slides are out, the lights are on, uh, and we're sitting out in a parking lot. What makes that possible is we have a 200-watt solar panel sitting on top of this. That's a, a standard feature on this coach. Already mounted on this coach. With direct sunlight, you're going to keep that battery trickle charge, so it just makes it super easy. And then, of course, your theater seating. I, like I said, it's the ultimate couples coach. So this seating is right across from that breakfast nook and then right across from your TV. So you don't have to turn your head uh, to watch TV or watch your movies or, or whatever you're wanting to do. And it's super comfortable too. Yeah, like no, that, they, that, com that uh, theater seat is super comfortable. Very, very nice residential feel. I mean, they look nice. This is like a bonded leather, so it's easy to wipe off, easy to clean. It doesn't stain very much. Uh, I did want to talk the, about uh, your AC here. So this is a ducted AC. It's a 15,000 uh, BTU AC. Uh, there is This is a 50 amp coach, so you have an option to put the second AC. We've actually already done that in this coach. So this does have the two ACs, which you'll see in the bedroom here shortly. Now, once you get into the bedroom, the first thing I want to point out is this, like Dan said, this is a king bed. Not super common, but you are seeing more and more. Uh, and it's a 72 by 80 king bed, so plenty of room. You've got outlets on both sides. You've got the, the gorgeous reading lights right above your bed. And then, of course, your cabinets above there. The valances just blend in beautifully with the rest of the coach. You know, to, oh, jump, to jump in again, mm -hmm. I really like, like, obviously you've got a place for your phone and stuff at night, which is great. Yep. But 
a lot of customers and a lot of people use the CPAP machines Absolutely. and stuff. And those wouldn't be big enough for that, but they've been thoughtful enough to put those extra shelves up there and they've put them high enough where you're not gonna smack your head on them when you're rolling over at night. Yep. Like it's little details like that. And like you said, the reading lights, it's just, is well thought out. Yeah, it absolutely is. And that's something I'm hearing more and more from uh, our customers is they want room for the CPAP machine. So mm -hmm. I'm absolutely glad you pointed that out because I, I wasn't even thinking about it. I did want to point out the storage underneath the bed. Notice how easy that comes up. But what I really love, you have these massive drawers here. Then past that, if you can see, it is actually accessible from the outside. But just uh, talking to the quality and the construction of this, of this coach, of course you notice the struts. So I don't have to hold that up. I'm not gonna worry about bonking my head. But the aluminum frame under here as well, you can see, I mean, this is a six-sided aluminum frame, your sidewalls, your rear, your front, your floor, your roof. And then of course, your bed here is aluminum framed as well. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome, awesome construction. You know, I don't know if I talked about all the doors and drawers here, but you have plenty of storage, plenty of uh, spots to hang your clothes. What is that? Six drawers, four more doors below, and then you come right well, here to your got, bathroom. Don't forget, it's important too, you've got a backer in here, so That's you true. can actually lay in bed, watch a TV in here if you want. <laughs> So if you and the missus want to watch something completely different, maybe you're having a little lover spat at the time. <laughs> one yeah. of you's in here watching something, one of you's out there watching something. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's why Dan, I've got Dan here because he's demoing this. So those little things that I'm forgetting. See, I've already thought about all this. Yeah, when the wife and I are fight, we've got two different TVs. <laughs> so you come in here to the bathroom, want to keep talking about a couple's coach. Look at the massive size of this countertop in here. I mean... That's more countertop than I have in my restroom at home. And then you have the dual vanities. So uh, I know Dan's pretty messy. He's got all of his hair products and everything. <laughs> They're gonna be everywhere and Sarah's real clean. So she can keep her side clean. He can keep his, his side all messy. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. But then of course you have the porcelain toilet here. So no special cleaners needed. You can use whatever you use at home to clean your toilet. And then your foot flush makes it super easy. You have true medicine cabinets above your dual vanities there, tons of room. And just, you know, the nice hardware, the residential feel in here, everything about it is just quality. And then of course, even more storage above your toilet there. So your towels, your washcloths, whatever you need. And yes, Dan stepped into the shower. That is one thing I was gonna point out was the I knew, seat. I knew you were gonna hit it. Yep. And one of the big things for us coming from the fifth wheels, a lot of the fifth wheels have the seat mm -hmm. in the shower. When you're camping, it's all about relaxation from the time you get there till the time you leave, right? Yep. Why not relax in the shower too, right? Absolutely. Uh, it is great for uh, ladies or men who want to shave their legs and stuff. But I, to be honest with you, every single time I take a shower in my camper, I sit down and I just relax a little bit. So this was a huge feature for us. Yeah, definitely one of those fifth wheel features that they've brought into a travel trailer. Yeah, but with that being said, I mean... Hey, I think you kinda... killed it. I appreciate you doing Absolutely. this. Guys, like I said, this is my demo unit. This is the 826 MBR. I'm going to do plenty of videos. We have several trips actually planned this year for some state parks, which is going to be awesome. Um, I can't even name all of them, but we're going like Indiana, Ohio, Illinois. I'll be doing videos of all that once uh, the wife and I get all of our stuff set up in here. I know you guys like a tour of that to see what all we put in here. Absolutely. We'll be doing that, and I'll just keep you guys regularly updated. But Ryan, thanks as always, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Appreciate it, man.